um, on-demand water heater, Takagi water heater. And the one on the right is, um, I use it for storage, but it's sized for solar. And I have my um, two propane tanks and my compost, three compost buckets under the trailer hitch. And then there's that's the sod, the um, peat moss. This area is wired for solar. I haven't been on solar. I haven't needed it because I've been renting from a place for the past six years that's on solar batteries. So it's um, sized and wired for solar. We're entering into the tiny house space. The um, mirror is there to um, use and to make the space feel bigger. I paid extra to have that ladder there, so the rungs are a lot thicker than typical ladders in a tiny house. I added hooks for clothes. I use a lot of those garden hooks um, for things to hang on things, hang things on. This is the other cabinet. You can see there the cord from the propane stove comes into that cabinet. And I have another space saving shelf in there to um, create more space. Those drawers pull out. I've really cleared out so much stuff so because I'm leaving, I'm moving out of the country. So um, I cleared out a lot of stuff. This is another view of the cabinet with the light on. Most of this stuff comes with the house if you want it, but I imagine you're going to have some things that you want to. There, the, there are these glass um, food containers with lids and uh, a food processor. When I first lived in the tiny house, I had these um, toy box sofa things made. So what I've learned from living here for eight years is um, the most flexible the space can be is possible. So that table on the top on that shelf is um, the, the shelf from the um, closet halfway up. There's like little um, pegs to fit in the closet. And that outlet there is um, the one designated for the heater. So as you can see, I have like a little fold-up table in my hamper. I'm taking that with me. And the Voronado, heat, the Voronado heater works pretty well here. So, and that's the entryway for the shoes. It has a bamboo floor, so I stayed away from shoes. And there's um, my work stuff and my personal stuff. My hang bags and clothes on there. So let's talk about the door. When people come in here who know what they're talking about, they say, wow, what a nice door. So seven years ago, a cat showed up into my life and I took him in. And I was traveling a lot, so I built, um, I inserted a cat door. So with one of those wood chips so that, the, that he could only come in. He was the only cat that could come in. So this is a nice workspace. I have my clothes there in those buckets, containers, and then there's a printer there. And that, um, that stool um, goes up and down. So when I talk about flexible space, I often take this ball. I use this ball for work or for meals, and then I often
can put it out here in the, like an ice cream cone on the tamper. Voila. So, um, the reason I have all this space here is because I do yoga and um, the sauna fits perfectly and it can fit a, um, it can fit an air mattress. And the reason I have an Envy heater is because you can't leave the in, you can leave the Envy heater on in the winter when you go outside when you leave the house. So I often just like put a piece of shrink plastic on that window for the winter time. And I wasn't planning on selling the trampoline with the. Um, tiny house. It wasn't um, in the cost of the tiny house, but if you want it, I can negotiate it with you. Super fun. So this is a view from of the loft from the downstairs living room. So let's climb up and loft and take a look. Welcome to my cozy loft. The bed is latex and is handmade by Mulligan's Mattresses in Portland, Oregon, so it's chemical free. Doesn't have any chemical retardants. So I have a lot of lighting options up here. The lighter is on a dimmer, and then you have those um, string lights. I'm 5'5", five five, so I can sit on a small meditation pillow and I can sit up here and meditate without touching the ceiling. That's been kind of nice. I found that like little shelf there at the thrift store. It's perfect for that spot. The curtains are, are going to stay with the house. So you have those if you like them. So I also have a light, lighting options. Um, that lamp there I use occasionally. I'm highly sensitive, so I didn't have electrical outlets by the um, by the head of my bed. I didn't want to sleep with electricity, so there's I showed I started at the beginning with showing you that one electrical outlet on the left hand side, and then we're coming on the second electrical outlet, and there's the dimmer switch. So I also use um, this salt lamp for lighting and and a candle whenever possible when I want to cozy up. And here's my little um, author space. Let's take a look at the closet. The sauna fits perfectly in there. So I was excited when I found that out. I used to have it out in the living room. I use the sauna when I cleanse and when I first feel like I'm getting a cold or sick. There's a high quality air filter there, key for um, fire season. I mean, but the sauna takes up a lot of space, so if you don't want the sauna, it's included in the asking price, but we can negotiate down for that without that. And there's the little vacuum, handy dandy vacuum. And I also have my yoga mat in there and a little box of stuff. That little white thing. And that little pad is the sauna, the head to the sauna. And then I have some clothes. I've cleaned out much of, most of it because I'm moving out of the country. So I've cleaned out most of my stuff. And that's where the electrical panel is. And I have some hooks on the side where I have some belts and stuff. Into the kitchen now. There's the fridge on the right hand side. We'll take a look inside in a minute. Um, this is a view inside the fridge. As you can see, it's spacious and clean. Here's a view of the corner without the Berkey filter so you can get an idea of what, what space you have. The door on the left is the bathroom. Let's go see the bathroom.
This is the bathroom. It has a head composting toilet and envy heater. I put that in because when it gets cold and it drops below 55 degrees, the compost doesn't compost. I just take off that um, toilet paper roll and close the curtains and put the curtains into the window. Here's the um, towel rack, and then here's the shelf. There's a photo on with a blank shelf on the um, website. Here's the shower. It has a couple of ledges for your um, Couple ledges for your shampoos, and I have a little soap holder here. And I have a little um, knob on this water, so you can shut off the water while you're taking a shower. And that's my little rock pumice stone up there.